In the past, I've done a couple of videos on limit switches and temperature switches in general, uh, mostly in gas furnaces. Uh, a lot of these apply to oil too. But I thought there was more to be done because I'm getting a lot of questions on how limits work and what happens. Now, we've got an array of limits here. Old timer here, that's a combination fan and limit switch, was used up to about 1990. Uh, pretty much gone now. This is an example of a gas furnace limit switch that's placed in the airflow. Here's another one, does the same thing. This one here is a limit switch, commonly used on uh, electric furnaces. Here's another one, it's just a limit switch, standard old limit. Uh, this here, this is an interesting part. This part is actually placed somewhat like this in relation to this limit switch. It's an air dam. And the airflow is coming up from below. And I'll, I'll go over this one and why it works in another video uh, about just these types of switches. This one here is a little different. It's a fuse. And it's, a, it's called a rollout switch. And if it gets too hot, the fuse blows, and then this whole thing has to be replaced. And rollout is if the flame rolls out the front, front of the furnace. I'll be doing a video just on this and uh, this other type of rollout switch here uh, a little later. This one actually has a button in the center and it pops off and it doesn't come back on. These limits like this, all these limits here, they all reset themselves. But these do not. This type here does not. And it has to be manually reset because if there's a problem, they don't want the furnace to start again. They want it to be looked at. Here's another type of button type limit switch. This little red button pops out when uh, uh, the over temperature happens and it has to be manually reset. Okay, looking at all these together, these are all safety devices. They're not there for operation. They're there to stop the furnace if there's an unsafe temperature inside the furnace. And they're all for various things, but that's their job, is to keep the furnace from operating under unsafe conditions. Now, the, probably the first one I'm gonna go into is this old boy, and I'm going to start this one. My next video is going to be about this one, what it does and what it can't do, and we'll show its operation.